So John Fetterman is the colorful, straight-talking senator from the great state of Pennsylvania, and he's proving that he can overcome any challenge thrown his way. Please welcome Senator John Fetterman. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Senator. You're even taller in person. <laughs> yeah. We, I, we always talk to you on video, on uh, streaming, whatever you call it. Well, actually, I, I wear lifts. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I know. Yeah, uh, DeSantis usually... called. He wants his lifts back. <laughs> <laughs> it, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not sad. Okay, that's perfectly normal to wear lifts, you know, and everything. It's, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, you know what? We're going to get to politics in the second segment, but I really want to ask you about the last time you were here. You were still in the early months of recovering a near-fatal stroke. You suffered in May of 2022. So bring us up to date. How are you feeling? You look pretty good. Yeah, well, I... Uh... Actually, I had a, I had incredible kind of support from from my wife Giselle, who's right there. Thank you, thank you. And, and 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 everyone, everyone was really amazing and supportive. And I know you guys here were also very supportive too. So thank you. It it really means a lot to to know that. Truly, yeah. Um, and now, kind of fast forward that I've gotten you know much much better, better and better. And Fox News is devastated to know that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh, uh, Senator, we, we want to point out that what you have in front of you today is you're using a closed captioning uh, to assist you mm -hmm. with lingering hearing and processing issues. You're one of more than 40 million Americans living with a disability, and you've faced terrible Absolutely. insults, offenses, comments, just reprehensible stuff from some people. Yeah, so I'm well, on Fox News. What, what has that taught you? How has it changed you? Well, it, it's taught me, one, how important that it is to have the kind of technology, if you have a, d a disability, to be able to allow you to, per, to uh, participate fully. And I just want to give the example. Um, this is actually on my phone. It's the same thing that allows this. And I want people to see and understand there is, too, is that, I, you know, these are like your eyes. You know, and, and of course, I'm able to process things, but, uh, and this is, allows me to participate in interviews. It allows me to participate in all kinds of conversations with my children, everyone. And I want to make sure that everybody that where they had a stroke or for whatever reasons has the kind of technology that they need to allow them to fully participate in our society. Yeah. Yeah. Senator, um, less than six weeks after you were sworn in, you checked yourself into an inpatient treatment for clinical depression, and you stayed there for a month and a half. I have to commend you mm -hmm. right away, uh, as someone who's experienced depression, oftentimes the hardest step is asking for help. So what made you realize that you needed help? No, I, well, I, I knew I was in help. Uh, it was incredibly difficult. And, and ironically, it got much worse after I won the election. And, and uh, I was confusing people, you know, my children. They understood, they were like, Dad, what, you know, you won. What's yeah. wrong? Aren't, aren't, we, aren't we enough? Oh. And uh, I knew I was harming them. Uh, and I couldn't get out of bed. And in fact, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. And I couldn't get out of my bed. And, and I wouldn't have really understood what it really means. No, you literally can't get out of bed before to actually be not able to get out of bed. Um, and I was in help. And uh, it got worse and worse. Uh, and then I realized that I, I have to get help. And that's the message that I have for anybody, that it's like if you are suffering from depression, please, please get help. Do, do, let me ask you something. Do you know what triggered it? Uh, it, it wasn't just one specific thing that triggered it. It was really like a, it was like a step down, step down, step down, step down uh -huh. kind of a thing. One of the things that, that, that was a part of it was is kind of like the, the, the volume and the, the, just the, how much hate there was online about that. I made the mistake of, of just kind of like, mm, no, I wish I, I didn't it. have done that. And, yeah. and, and it wasn't what the things that they said, you know, terrible things, but it was just like just so many, you know, millions of just kind of views and, mm. and videos of making fun of if I miss a word or anything like mm. that. Um, and I, it was like, is this going to be my career? Is this what I'm going to have? But did you also read the, the millions of people giving you support and love and backing? Mm. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Um, you know, of course, my family was incredible. Um, everyone in the, in, in the Senate, Republican or Democrats, were actually very supportive. There wasn't any kind of comments and negativity or anything Trump like too? that. 
What's up? Well, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, we actually we had some that actually She's visited. So they actually visited me at Walter Reed. Yeah. Uh, Republicans and, and Democrats. Well, Senator, the hard part about the negative, just again, as someone who's dipped before, is it starts to confirm the critical voice in your own head. Because during the times when you're in depressive states, it oftentimes feels a bit hopeless, like nothing matters enough. And I think then you see people confirming nothing matters enough and you are nothing. And I think that's the damaging part when you're in a low space. Right. No, I, I want people to understand. And then if, if you don't check your depression, you can actually begin to have the, the conversation with yourself uh, about harming yourself. Mm -hmm. and, and I was in that place. And, and at first, I really didn't want to talk about that. But then I realized that if I could help as many people as much, I wanted to have that conversation. And I want everybody to know, of course, if you are suffering from depression, please get help. Mm -hmm. And then please, you must promise yourself and, you know, that you never, 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 ever harm yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, I've lost friends. That, that, that did, and not because they were weak or, they, or I, was, I was very strong. I, I was lucky, and I'm paying that forward, and I want everybody so no one has to suffer from, from those kind of choices. And we really ap appreciated comments you've made in, in Senate hearings speaking about um, your experience, because I think it's important to spotlight. But I wanted to ask, because you mentioned Thanksgiving's your favorite holiday, but last year was a really tough Thanksgiving for you. How are things this year? It was, uh, it wasn't as tough for me. It was much actually uh, more difficult for my family mm -hmm. because uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't get out of bed. And uh, I was able to kind of hang on until the election. And then after I won, I, I gave myself to just throw myself over and in, in, in really uh, embrace you know, my depression and was, you know, I couldn't get out of bed. And for holidays, you know, Thanksgiving or Christmas, I wasn't participating effectively on, on both. And those were my favorite, favorite uh, holidays. And my children were scared. And it just, they didn't understand yeah. uh, because they seemed like I looked, I looked okay. Was, uh, was this Thanksgiving better? Uh, oh, it's amazing. It was the best Thanksgiving oh, of my yeah. life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 